What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys some awesome tweaks that were released this week. So I haven't been making a lot of tweak videos because the tweaks aren't as much as they used to be. It's a lot more slow right now so we just got to release them whenever it comes out. So this is a batch and hope you guys like this tweak. So the first one I want to show you guys is called Notifier Dots. If you look up top right up there in the status bar you can see I have some dots up there and that's basically telling me I have a notification for that so you see I have one for the message I have phone and I also have the mail right there so if I go to settings so you could set it up according to how you like so if I go down here and you could enable the application for which you want to see the notifications so I have only have a scroll down you know, I have my message, my phone, my email, and all that. So if I open up my message, as you can see, I sent a test message right there. So if I close it, you'll see it went away. So that's basically what it does. Whenever you get a notification, it does pop up right up there. And you could actually switch it up if you want just the, the icon or you just want a dot. But you would have to respring. And then you could do the dot duration. And if you want it in the center or the left or the right, you guys could set it up however you like. So that one is called Notifier Dots. And then the other one is called Jumper. Jumper basically allows you to, to have two applications right where you would have the, the flashlight or the camera on your lock screen. So if I tap, hold up, it'll open real quick. So if I, hold up, this damn thing. So if I do like this. And then open it up. If you don't have a password, it will just open directly to that app. So that's what it does. And then you could go to settings, of course. And you could choose what application. So I have for the first, I have YouTube. And the second, I have Twitter or a tweet bot. So you could go in there and basically choose any one of those applications that you have on your device. You could choose and use. And that one is called Jumper. And my other one is called Album Art as Background. So if I go to Spotify, where's my Spotify? Where's Spotify? Let's just search for it. So if I open up Spotify and play a song, whatever the album art is, that's what. Turn it down real quick. So you see the album art is in the um, control center. But if I also go to the lock screen, you can see, it open up real quick, you can see the album art right there. So yeah, that one is called album art as background and it works. I mean, so if I open it up, hold up. And you can see the album if I skip. You can see it switched. And if I go to the lock screen, you can see it also switched. So that one is called Album Art as Background. And then the other one is called Still Here. This one is a cool one. If you FaceTime a lot, and you know how you, if you're on FaceTime with somebody, stop that. If you're on FaceTime with somebody, and then you switch and go to like a different app, it would put them on pause. But this app that's called still here doesn't do that so I'm gonna try to make this work so I'm gonna open up my iPad I'm gonna try to FaceTime myself from my iPad so you can see it right there and I'm gonna open it up I know it's gonna be making a lot of weird noises but so I got it opened up you see it's kinda slow but if I close it you see I close it, it's closed, you can see it right up there in the status, but I, this one is not paused. So that's what this tweet does. And I mean, let's stop it real quick because of the noise. So that's what this tweet does guys. Once you get it, this is a real cool tweak if you FaceTime a lot and you want to like continue what you're doing, but the person, you want the person to still see you and you don't want them to know you're doing something else then this is a real cool tweak it's called still here nothing to configure and then my last one for this video is called iOS blocks so if you see these widgets right here that's what 
I used to do that iOS blocks. So you see, I have my weather. I could tap on it. It would take me right to the weather. I have my Spotify. That's where Spotify was. I was looking for it. So I could play. Let me hold up. I just. I could play it just like that from the widget, and I could skip it just like that. And if I want to close the widget, I could just pinch. It would kind of disappear because it's kind of buggy, but you go back and the widget is right there. And if I want to open it back up, I do it just like that. Just look at the weather. Just like that. That one is called iOS blocks. And there's settings. So if I go to the settings, go to iOS blocks, you could choose them. So this is it right here. And you could kind of swipe through and get different paints. So this is real cool. This is kind of like old school iOS feature that was real awesome that Apple took away but you could go through and basically you could choose which app you want to have the widget and the thing is there's only a couple widgets right now but there'll be more so if I go to let's just go to Amazon and then go set widget you will see you have some presets right here so it has one for my camera for Cydia for fitness for mobile cut whatever that is mobile SMS so basically your phone your SMS your music so that's how I set up those and also weather so if you want to do one that doesn't have a widget this is how it look so it would just turn it into a notification page so if I close this YouTube right here and come back so if I open it up now it just turns it into a notification because it doesn't have a widget set up for it so I have one for the weather and for the music and also for Cydia and you could just tap on them and it will just go right to whatever app so this is a real cool tweak I have the links not the links I have the repos in the description for all these tweaks and you guys could check them out so yeah this one is a real cool one if you like widgets this is a real cool way to get widgets it's kind of buggy because it's in beta but as you can see after you set it up the way you like it it, it works and sometimes whenever you go to the widget for the, like the weather it kind of showing you a different weather you know how you have multiple places in like your weather calendar sometimes you open it up and it doesn't show you where you at all you have to do is just close it come on just close it like that and then open it back up and it should reset to the current um, weather at your location so there you go guys those are just five tweaks real cool tweaks they're pretty new and just let me know which one is your favorite it's Prince with ATP 101 rate comment subscribe Peace. Thanks for watching. And before I go, I just want to give you guys a little update on this tweak right here. The battery, you see how the battery is all the way, it's at the notch and it goes around. So that's done with battery percent X. So it was updated and now it has a feature like battery notch. So if you had battery percent X and you update it, now you could go ahead and set it up like how I got it up here. So if you go to settings, Hold up, let me turn this music off. Hold up, where is it at? So there it is right here. You go into the settings. Now you can set it up however you want. So it's called battery bar. You could enable it. You could do full screen. So basically, it's just a lot more. So if you had battery notch, or if you wanted battery notch, but you didn't want to pay for it, then you could use this one because I paid whatever for that, and I like this one better. So, yeah, there you go, guys. It's Prince with ATP 101. I don't know what happened to it. Great, comment, subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching.